Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give to you his blessing out of Zion. Thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness. And so, together we say, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, before the ending of this day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. But before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word. And tonight we listen to Isaiah 49, verse 13, where we read, Join the chorus, O heaven, so earth, rejoice. Break out into song, O mountain heights. For the Lord has comforted his people. His afflicted ones shall receive his compassionate care. There are two things of which we as Christians can be absolutely sure. We will find ourselves afflicted and we will find ourselves comfortless. But we will also find everlasting arms embrace us and a divine nurse attend to our every need. Lord God, we are sometimes overwhelmed by pain, grief and loss. We feel acutely the absence of those who can and perhaps once did bring us consolation. But we are not alone. Your arms enfold us even in the darkest place and your healing and your lovely presence are assured to us. Abide with us Lord Jesus for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And so may the Lord our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give to us his peace.